good morning on a Friday. I appreciate anybody joining us today. Last minute live stream on a Friday. Usually I do these on Wednesday, but due to the change in schedules, things like that, changed it till today. I know. It's not fair to you guys, but it is what it is. I got to I want to spend as much time with y'all as I can. So sometimes I have to change things. And this morning, um, I should have scheduled it more in advance so that y'all would have known that I was doing it. But I guess it's better than nothing. What up, Wesley Fletcher? Yo, dog. Tube. Frise. What's up, everybody? Aaron Burke, good morning. Ben Gleason, running right into Ben's all business. BG, all business all the time. Question came up on your Discord. What items are in long-term use in your uh, house? Speakers, amps, stacks, etc. Here, I'm going to, um, Ben, I'm going to pin that one. And then, we're, but before we do that, let's say hello to each other. Find out where, where everybody's at. So Ben, repost that question here in about a couple of minutes, if you can. If not, I'll try to come back with it because I, I like that question. That's a fun question. Oh, it's hot. Ooh, that's a bit strong. A little bit strong. First last is first. Hey, and if you're uh, just popping in here, give it a like. Hey, dos, hey, or swat, swart. Hi. Space Ricky, what's up? Ryan four. All right. Robert Orsorio. Howdy. Yo, dog. Brian Romska. What up? Aaron Burke. Burke. Howdy. Um, John. My goodness. Are you the same John that does the uh, does the three D modeling? I think you are. If you are, man, this guy is this guy is one of the most talented dudes i've ever seen when it comes to like 3d modeling and stuff it's amazing it's amazing downtown julie brown good to be here glad you got to see me glad i got to see you too first and last i got the ammo set around sale do you think the upward firing s8s are worth the 200 dollars? the entire set was 150 these tiny speakers are literally more than all five speakers Oh, are you talking about like the um, the Atmos ones? So you can look at it two ways. One, you can look at it is you got a killer killer deal on on a set of five speakers. The other way to look at it is two hundred dollars really isn't that bad for Atmos speakers, especially ones that plug right into the top. So um, you're into the whole thing for three fifty. Now you have a set of Atmos speakers that are quote-unquote designed to be atmos speakers that match up with your other speakers so i don't know i'm probably still gonna buy them at 200 bucks michelle mosier hello how are you as connie says good morning um like the video if you're here please what you're a real person with a life unacceptable I am. The kids are actually home too because of uh, Easter break. But usually at this time, they're pretty docile. They don't start to get really crazy until later. I think I'm going to take one of my girls to uh, the new Mario movie, which will be fun. Which will be fun. Good morning, Barry. Hi, guys. I saw your video of improving the sound of the Sony SSCS bookshelf. Do you have anything for the towers instead? No, I don't. Um, I didn't love the towers. I thought they were pretty terrible, actually, in comparison to the bookshelves. So do not. I do not. Neil Blanchard Designs is the one that did the crossover, though. I don't think he's got it. I don't think he has any plans of... Doing one for the towers. All right, let's go back to Ben's Gleason. Ben's Gleason. A question came up in your Discord. What items are in long-term use in your house? Speakers, amps, decks, etc. 
Uh, for speakers, the ones that I use the most often are the Sony SSCS5, which have actually not been in rotation for a while. The Wharfdale Denton 80th edition, that was a pretty much permanent residence on my desktop for, I don't know, two months. And now I'll switch those out for the Wharfdale Denton 4.1 on my desktop. So when I do, when I'm listening to DAX, amps, streamers, whatever, whatever I'm listening to in the office, I try to keep the speakers the same for a while. And so the Wharfdale Denton 4.1s. As far as amps go, I would say my reference stuff would be the A1 monoblocks from Emotiva for Class AB. And then the Fozzy Audio TB10D for an affordable. If I'm doing like a super affordable um, video on something, then that's the amp that I use the most. Um, for streamers, it's the Ween Pro. I use those all the time, everywhere. And the uh, turntable I use is the Project Metallica turntable, but that's ready to get bumped out because there, I have a new U-turn table that I need to evaluate. And then, and then, uh, that's about it. Did, if you have any other questions about which ones I use, put it in the comments. Hey, we got some super chats. Yay. Martin, Martin, seating the coffee funds. <sighs> Martin, you're the best. Do you know that this this was actually sent in from a patron? Um, Digital Dan. Back in the day. It's so nice. He sent me some coffee in this hydro flask. Oh, so good. You guys are so good to me. I received more things from, from patrons and fans and wa viewers, watchers. Y'all are the best. Um, first, first and last for keeping it real, man. Thank you. I try. I don't always keep it real. Hey, my buddy from New Record Days is uh, texting me. What are you doing right now? You want to jump on my live stream with me? It's Ron. I'm going to see if he wants to jump on my live stream. Ron. All right. And then we have uh, Dr. Peter Orsoff. Just $9.99. Dr. Peter, thank you. Are you a real doctor or do you just play one on YouTube? I'm a real expert. No, I'm not. I am a hi-fi expert, but I only play one on YouTube. What are you a doctor of? Proctology? What's the foot doctor? Podiat pod podiatrist. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Whoa, new mic. No, I've had this one for a while. I just put these earbuds. I wrapped them around there. I've had this one for a while. My goodness, we have got a lot of questions. Uh, updated La Scala compared to SVS Premium Towers. Oh, brother, I have no idea about La Scala. La Scala. Uh, absolutely no, no idea. Um, if you've got the room, I know that's a that's an end game speaker for a lot of people. That the sound signature of I will say this I heard the Fortes and if I have an opportunity to ever get a pair of Fortes I may I may do that I think the Fortes are my favorite ones as far as the Heritage series um I haven't even heard the SVS Premium Towers like the Ultras I've heard uh what is it not that it's the series below the ultra series so anyway i can't remember what the name is but they only have two two series so i've heard the more affordable svs towers and i think they do a really really good job really really good job oh you school principal oh very good doing uh doing god's work molding shaping the minds 
shaping the minds of our children. Probably, you're probably more like a uh, um, a prison. Who's the main guy in a prison? Uh, my brain's not working. The um, warden. You're like a prison warden, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're in a great school. Man, we've got a ton of comments. I'm just going to pick one out of the hat. All right. Which is better, i5 Phono 3 preamp or Alchemy PP2? Um, I don't have experience with Alchemy. Um I don't even think I have experience with the i5 Phono 3 if they've come out with a new one since the one I've heard. Uh, i5 is pretty solid when it comes to their Phono preamp. Uh, but again, I haven't heard the Alchemy PP2. But I also got another one that's really cool that I was going to, and probably still will, put into service today. I guess I don't have it. It must be in my other room. Um, it's a Duke Audio, though. So I'm looking forward to that one. Here, I'll show you this one since I have it out. I think this is... I've kind of done a video on something similar to this, but I think this is an upgraded version. And... This one does not have the phono preamp. The previous one had the phono preamp. So this is kind of uh, the same version, except it has a DAC in it. And that one was pretty good, the one that had the phono preamp. <coughs> anyway, I have a Duke. I, could, I have a Duke phono preamp that I've got high expectations for. Or I'm, I shouldn't say that. I'm optimistic about it. Hold on. Let me text Ron back. I'm going to say lame. Lame. There we go. All right. Lonnie McLeod loves the channel. Thank you, Lonnie. I bet if I met you, I'd love you too. Are you still playing around the shit sin? Um, I think it's on my desk somewhere. Maybe I moved it. Oh, no, I moved it over to that rack. Um, not really. I've been um, playing with other stuff. But I think the sin is really cool. Really, really, really cool. And if you are looking for something that is fairly straightforward to use, and you want some immersive movie experiences and TV and music, I I just don't think you can go wrong. I mean, it's going to be kind of a pain to get some multiple amps in there for the multi-channel, but it's really cool, really cool product. That video is going crazy, too. Uh, what watch am I wearing? I don't know. This one, I'm actually going to do a review of this one on my other channel, which I have pretty much neglected. Uh, this is, I don't even know that, I think it's a newer brand, uh, Procidius or something like that, Procidius, I don't know, it's like a, um, it's like a field watch, it's automatic, it's got really good movement, I mean, if you look at that movement, look how smooth that movement is, it's very good. I think it's under 200 bucks. So anyway, first time watching or catching a live video. Love the vids, man. Thanks, Angel. Billy Winsock, patron, great man, hi-fi enthusiast, and member of the United Kingdom. Billy Winsock, member uh billy's awesome good morning from tucson folks oh martin oh, i already got to that one okay let's see if i've missed any other john brender five dollars thank you john hey is anybody a fan of the mandalorian or let me put it to you that 
a different way. Has anybody been watching season three of The Mandalorian? <laughs> My heart has been broken. Um, Steve Zeidman. What a surprise. I'm here, Steve. I have the first gen I find. The, I, yeah, I think the first gen is awesome. Is the Wing Pro really worth the difference in price? I think it is. Uh, simply because you have more output and input options. And you can fundamentally use it as a preamp if you're just after the streamer. I don't know. Not really. I just, it's not that more, it's not that expensive. I mean, I guess it's double the price in comparison, but it depends on what you're like. If you're wanting to do powered speakers, you get the mini because then you can just like tape it to the side. So I think it depends on your use case scenario, but I personally like the, pro a lot better really just because of the form factor and i was told it has the same DAC, although the deck on the pro sounds sounds better to me than anything else mando no spoiler i've spoken this is the way i'm i try not to mandalorian is outstanding i'll try not to spoil it but this season has been a real disappointment for me. A huge disappointment. This last episode was so bad that I got depressed because I I, I thought to myself, I may not watch this anymore. It was terrible. It breaks my heart. Hey, what do you think of the Kef Q350 for movie sounding speakers? Thanks. I think they're good. I think um, they have great mid-range clarity. And they would be great for a home theater. Not super. They don't go super deep, though. So you might want to cross them over. Um, Mandalorian this year is more like a kid's show. Yeah, a poorly written kid's show. Um, I just can't get over how bad it is. I keep thinking maybe I'm missing something here, but I'm not. It's bad. I didn't even really know what a DAC was a couple of years ago, but your videos taught me so much about hi-fi gear. Your mission, miss, mission is by far the most legit of all the channels I follow. I am just trying to introduce as many people as I can to affordable gear and then maybe talk about some stuff here and then here and there about maybe stuff that can be useful. I try, and sometimes I forget about it because I feel... Um, you know, I feel pressure to put out content and stuff, but there was a week that went by and I was like, oh man, you know what? I'm not thinking about being useful and helpful. I'm not like my mission statement was to help others, uh, find out more about hi-fi. And so there was about a week where I was just kind of like, I forgot that I usually use the litmus test is this video going to be of service or help my audience? And I think, I guess I, it could be argued that all of my videos are, but I kind of got away from it for a little while. So I, I kind of had to reset my head to think, okay, is this going to be valuable? Is there value here for the audience instead of it? Is it just me doing a video? Robert, Trav, Trav, and the key. Two dollars. Thank you so much. Thinking about applying for a job with Tecton to paint their speaker cabinets. Go for it, man. Hey, Marco, what's happening? I'll take mono versus stereo for five hundred dollars. What is mono versus stereo? <laughs> I have seen this new season. Now I'm bummed. Wow, Tim Bennett. I'm not sure what um, currency that is. Well, it's from New Delhi. I'm watching from New Delhi. I have a Wean Pro connected to a sound bar via optical cable. Which DAC is being used? The one in your Wean Pro is being used. Yes, yes, yes. No, wait a minute. No, I'm the exact opposite. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm thinking. The one in your sound bar is being used. Um, if 
Yeah, I think that I, otherwise you wouldn't be having sound coming out. But yes, look at the um, the settings on there and then look at spit if output. And then if it's spit if output, then yeah. But if you're getting sound from the Wean Pro, then it's the DAC in your soundbar. Full show. Uh, sorry, confused. As I said, I am, uh, my brain's not working yet. We did a thing for my daughter last night for her drill team. Kind of like a banquet. So I get home till late last night. I have a pair of Emotiva T0 floor, st floor standing speakers. Would an amp like the Aima T9 Pro work well with these speakers? Um, it's going to work, but I don't think it's going to drive them uh, to their fullest. A lot of the Emotiva stuff is pretty low efficiency and pretty low in, um, nominal impedance and the t9 especially the t9 pro has a little bit more juice if you get the 32 volt power supply but the t9 i think only goes up to a 30 volt anyway um probably i'd probably go with something ab ab with the uh, t zeros loves the wing pro Parks Audio Puff and new firmware with Super Mono Rocks. I legit just had the Puffin right here within arm's reach, but I moved it over to that rack. Cream Circus, $5. Thank you so much. Mm, yummy. I love your recommended shit tier. I have it right here. No, nope, that's the Lear. I always get tears are kind of expensive. The tears make me have tears, which are kind of expensive. I need to clean up this desk. Mm -hmm. Tuning in on the road in Texas, heading to Abilene from Fort Worth, the Oklahoma. Heading to Abilene from Fort Worth, then Oklahoma. Oh, wow. I'm in Fort Worth right now, brother. I've been to Abilene many times. Got a friend in Abilene. So, yeah. Drive safely. Be safe. New J2 with Sparkos Ops. Worth the extra money. Um, You know, it depends on you. I mean, I think it's a no-brainer to get the socketed op amps as an option when you're ordering a J2. What I would do personally... I was getting a J2 is I would order it with the socketed op amps. And then just, I think there's the regular op amp that comes with it. It's only a $10 upcharge. Sparkos, I do think are great. I do think they're also expensive too. So I would order a J2 with the socketed op amps and then do more research and then decide on which op amp I wanted to upgrade to later. That's how I'd do it. Um, and it's more fun that way. Not more fun. Paul, $5. Love your content, Randy. Just wanted to say thank you. Well, Paul, thank you so much. Thank you. Y'all are very sweet and very nice. Um, you know, it's funny. I did the, the Schkitz Sin video, and it's kind of blown up. And I, would, I don't know if you'd call it viral or whatever. But when I have videos blow up, and that was kind of a um, provocative title that I used. I've gotten a lot of negative comments on that one. So it's always nice to see something like this. Just a thank you. Because I don't usually get a lot of negative comments. And it makes me sad. That's why I stay out of the comments. And I'm, I hardly ever get into my actual comments. Because I never come out of my comments feeling good. And I know most of those comments are positive, but people in the comments are can be a real poo 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 in there. Super mono samples left and right groove wall with DSP to get quietest audio. Very cool. Ace of Spades. Did you complete your review of the RSL speed before 10S Mark II, or is that a first take? 
Thoughts on a pair of these integrating into a two channel. I mean, I, I'm not a great subwoofer reviewer, so I think that's about as much as you're going to get from me. Although their 12 inch just showed up it's the size of a, like a refrigerator. I could not believe how big that box was. So I, I think I must've, when I looked at the picture, I guess I didn't see it as being as big as it actually is. So it's going to be a big, big subwoofer. Sin is a wild product. I don't think anybody saw it coming. Yeah, that's what I love about Schkit is that it was like, hey, let's do this. And it's not new technology. Um, neither is EQs, though, or neither are EQs. You know, it's older, older tech. And I think it's cool that someone's coming back with it. <laughs> favorite DAC. I'll give you a few of them. Uh, so one of the OG favorite DACs for me is the uh, Denifreps Aries 2. Love that thing. Um, but I don't have it anymore because my reference DAC became the just Shelley Labs J2, the AKM version. And I just didn't see myself using the Denifreps as much as I should. So I gave that to a patron, I believe. Um, it was a fair deal. So we had the patrons sign up that wanted it. And then, you know, there's a, wasn't random. Kind of, it was random. Um, anyway, you, you can't do random draws on Patreon. Otherwise it's gambling, but it was random. Anyway, so that one's not here, but that one's one of my favorites. And then, of course, the Gishelli Labs J2, um, any version, but I prefer the AKM version, personally, right now. And then I really like the Topping E50. I think that's really good. I really like this Ever Solo DAC Z8. Um, probably my new favorite DAC right now. Um, I think the... The Modi 3 Plus Pro Plus second, third space, deep space nine generation is probably the best somewhat affordable one right now. Uh, so, yeah. How do I like the Dan Clarks with the Gishelli amp? Good. Good. Dan Clarks are kind of, I don't know. Dan Clarks, sometimes they, they sound great with certain certain combos and sometimes they just sound yeah um it's a great headphone don't get me wrong but i i've just been grabbing the uh hyphen edition xs like when i just want something that's going to be consistent with everything uh but yeah i like them especially for a close back uh but the thing about it is is like if it's music i i will listen to the dan clarks a lot with like movies and things like that so yeah cooking a pork tenderloin today yummy sounds great love the channel new to budget hi-fi recently bought modi magni and looking to get a wrecker any reviews coming for that and what speakers are good match for a near field i have the g horns i don't have the wreckers here so i actually need to do the g horn review here pretty soon i've been listening to it for a long time Maybe that'll happen this weekend. I have to put out some, um, I have to send up some ad spots to get approval. So I'm going to do that this afternoon. And then I think I'll include that in the, um, that one. I'll do that. Um, I'll do that review this weekend. According to the reservation, they call it bingo. What's up, brother? I haven't seen you for a while. Um, do not feed the trolls they're not here to discuss only destroy yeah it's tough though man like i've legitimately received over a hundred thousand comments legit and people like i said are pretty nice my hair's weird but there's always something man there's always something so i just stay out of the i stay out of the comments <laughs> Stay out of the comments. All right. Steve Zeidman, 999. What you doing, Steve? 
Steve, you support me enough, but <coughs> I'll take your money and go buy coffee. Actually, next week I'll buy a I'll buy you a cup of coffee with your own money. I'll return the favor. A uh, cream circus, two dollars. Thank you. I like your art, your photo art. Addition to XS is great. <clears throat> If you have a huge head like me, maybe that's why I love it so much. I don't think my head's that big, but I mean, I know I don't have a small head, so maybe that's why I like them so much. Uh, try to ignore, but sometimes I just flip out. I'm either super chill or super pissed. I don't know what's in the middle. Are we talking about like mental health stuff here or hi-fi stuff? Brian. We can get you some help. All right. What else do we have? Is the project Metallica turntable worth its asking price? Uh, of course it is. You can't, I mean, you cannot think about that table as being like value for the money, feature versus feature, things like that. I mean, it's a limited edition Metallica turntable. So that's the mentality that I had going into it. Now I bought it. Did I buy it at retail? No, but I didn't buy it. It wasn't like it was super cheap either. It comes with a, I think about a hundred dollar phono cart. Sounds good. Uh, but I've never really taken that turntable and compared it to other tables and been like, hey, do I think this is, you know, a better value, lower noise or whatever it is. So I never looked at that one as kind of a uh, a purchase, a value for, for dollar purchase. I just wanted that turntable. And um, so I bought it. And I mean, that table, no other table is ever going to be like that Metallica table. Uh, other tables could probably sound better probably for sure probably even cheaper but we'll see it does have a removable head shell so i can put on different cartridges but i think the the easy answer to that question is is it worth its asking price if you're not a metallica fan no if you're a huge metallica fan absolutely yes sin plus j2 plus xs equals my next goal would love to try that setup at Expona if possible. I don't know if Schkit is going to be at Expona. Although, I may throw the sin into my backpack. How's that, Brian? Can that work for you? Which DAC is the best for Ween Pro? Whichever one you, wait, whichever one you like. Am I excited about the new Metallica album? I get excited whenever. I've listened to a few of the tracks that they have. Well, I've listened to all the tracks that they've pre-released. And I think um, I think I need to listen to them more. There hasn't been any that have been like, whoa. But some of their records have to grow on me. Yeah, Martin, it's a collectible. You're right, it is. And that's kind of how I see it. Ramon delgado good morning randy greetings from chicago god bless hey are you coming to expona i hope so will you be at expona absolutely yeah yes i certainly will actually i'm gonna do a um i'm gonna do a form and i'll post it here in the um in the description and because we're gonna do a meetup with emotiva and jashelli labs and the cam fam. And so I'm going to have people kind of fill out so we can get an idea of how many people are coming. Cause I think we're going to order food and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Come on out, man. Uh, stick on order from blue on the Metallica turntable. I already have, I have tried that one. I've also tried the, what are you? Gold ring. E something E1 I think or E3 listen to the new Barry Tomorrow album liked it hey Randy are you familiar with the 
Absolutely. I use that word all the time um, in writing and in speaking. So the is one of my favorite words. I find it's necessary. It's brief. And um, it's a classic. I assume there's more to that question. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Yamaha, Yipe. Yipe. Come on, Randy. <laughs> YP701. Turntable. I am not. I'm not. The only turntables I've had in, I've had in some projects. I've had in a couple of U turns. I've had in a bunch of fluances. So, yeah. I'm not a huge turn, turn, turntable like um, expert. But, I mean, you listen to two turntables with the same cartridge through the same phono preamp. I mean, it's not difficult to talk about any differences. The one thing that kills me is when two people, I have seen articles written before and they have compared two turntables with different cartridges and then say, well, this turntable is better than the other one. Come on. You can't say that. It's got, if you're going to, if you're going to like, Put a project up against a, uh, I don't know, what's the, oh, up against a U turn or whatever, similarly priced. And then you just say that one's better than the other and they have two different cartridges. That's insane. That's like the late, that's the epitome of lazy reviewing. Like you can't, it's like comparing chocolate and Rocky Road and being like, you know, I just think this Rocky Road's better than chocolate. Um, I've owned most poke SDAs. Very nice, but huge. All right. I have an IOTA SA3 and 80th Denton source CD player. Certain CDs, remasters of Zep 1 and 2, and Miles uh, sound a harsh on top end. Yeah. I switched out CD player and interconnect. No change. I think you're right. If it's the same amp, that IOTA, that IOTA is screaming on top. Very, very, very harsh on top. Harsh, harsh, harsh on top. Um, I didn't love the IOTA SA3 at all. I didn't. I listened to that really early on in the channel. Say what? Apples to apples. Use the same cartridge in photo stage. Yes, that's what I'm saying, Martin. Like I've seen people compare two turntables with different with different cartridges and then say which one was better. Um 499. Every time I hear Rage Against the Machine, I think of you and smile because of your awesome video. Oh, thank you. That was my first copyright infringement. Um when I used their music. Uh, I see reviews of turntables based on how they come out of the box. So that might be really important to some people. Actually, I have to take pictures when I take them out of the box because um, that way I can pack them back up either e easier, easier. Hey, Randy or Chad, is there a higher quality linear power supply for the IEMA T9? Um, you, I mean, you can look one up, but they're going to be pricey like a 24 volt linear power supply. Probably going to be some bucks. Oh, here we go. Thinking of getting a vintage receiver. What would you recommend? Oh, David, I don't know if my, my opinions are going to be very popular here. I think if you want the best bang for your buck. You go for an early 80s realistic STA 2000 series. So anything from like before 84 that starts with 2000 in the model number is the last huge deal in vintage audio. If you can get a late 70s STA, but the problem with the late 70s STA <clears throat> is they start to get pretty expensive pretty quick. Um and then I think some Kenwoods. There's some great values out there with Kenwoods. Yamaha. Um, I have the CR800. I think it's great. 
variable loudness. Uh, but if you are like looking for the best bang for your buck, I think realistic. But the 2000 series, you gotta you gotta get the top end, that top end, the upper end of the realistic. Crazy value, crazy value. I think I saw one on eBay the other day. It's still only like 140 bucks because it's kind of the transition between the 70s silver face into the digital era. And so there's styling cues from both worlds and they're kind of the ugly ducklings, but people don't like them. Um, I'm on order fun. Got four of the two M carts spinning away. Only one I'm getting rid of is the red. I was never a huge fan of the red, but they put it on everything. That's what I don't get about the red. It's like that cartridge gets puts on everything. And I think it's a little bit too forward in the upper mid range. Didn't you do a comparison of the TA 100 um, and the IOTA early on? Yes. Early, 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 early on, early on. I didn't like the IOTA. There's a couple of reasons why one, I thought it was shrill. I thought it sounded very similar to some class D amps and actually in some cases worse. I did not like that. You had to basically bridge the integrated amp and then bridge the power amp <clears throat> to get more power. Basically what it was is the integrated and the power amp were ex exactly the same design, except the power amp didn't have the preamp section, but you still had to like bridge them. So I never cared for that because even if you get the power amp, you still had to bridge it in some strange way. But more importantly, I just didn't think it sounded good. I thought it sounded so harsh. There was a lot of people that liked that amp um, when it first came out, but I never cared for it. Never cared for it. Current setup is a TA100 A2 amp, Diamond 11.2, Node 2i, Def Tech 8 inch sub. Very nice. Reference to my super chat. Thanks again. Oh, sorry. I added a Modi DAC to my system last December and it made things sound better, livelier, and overall improved things. What is better but not going to kill my budget? Less than $800. J2 with AKM? Yeah. Uh, Ramon, J2. So this is what I would do J2 with AKM, get the socketed op amp option. It's only $10 upcharge. Uh, you can do research later and you can like build it out or like improve it out over time. So get that. And then there's some options for linear power supplies, uh, which a lot of people have, have been um, absolutely raving about. Uh, let me put one out there. This one is from, I'm going to have to, here, I'll pull it up here. Cause it was a, it was a text. So anyway, what I would do is get the get the J2 AKM with the uh, socketed op amps. And then the next step I would do is either get better op amps after you've done your research or get a linear power supply. And then you kind of build it out um, over time. And you don't have to pay for it all up front. And then you can always like mix and mix and match. Um, all right. So I just dropped it into the, the chat there. Uh, the linear power supply, I think is 168 bucks. There's other cheaper options out there, but um, these, this one has a very good hair. I'll share it. This one has a very good reputation. There we go. This is what it looks like. Do, do, do. Anyway, a um, patron just sent this to me. So they're at a Singapore beat. I don't know. Anyway, there's some other options out there. Some of them look to be a little bit more reputable than others. So that's what I would do, Ramon. 
J2, socketed op amps, upgrade the op amps or the power supply, and then whatever order you want to do that with. And I think you'll have a crazy DAC that you can build out over time. If that makes sense. All right, what do we miss? Okay. Any other super chat? All right, ABX audio file. What up? Darn, I missed it. Oh, well, coffee on us today. Cheers. See y'all next week. ABX audio file. We're still rolling. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You're the best. If you're not subscribed to ABX audio file, go subscribe to ABX audio file. Um, have I tried pairing the A130s with the RSL speedwoofer? No, but that's a kind of a good point. Now that you say that, I do think that their speakers have a bit of the stage A130 vibe. So I think, I mean, I think most subwoofers will pair well with any speaker um, if you dial it incorrectly. But the A130s do have a bit of a vibe. I meant I missed the notification. Oh, well, here's coffee for tomorrow, huh? Oh, ABX, thank you, man. Stop, stop, stop giving me money. Um. Yeah, the notification thing is is weird. I've heard a, a lot of other creators talking about how the notifications don't go out or uh, they're late or something. And I go through a third party. So I am streaming through StreamYard to YouTube. And so sometimes that gets wonky too. Uh, needing a small portable DAC for car audio. Any ideas? Um, for like your car system. So you're going to, so what's the, what is the source and then how are you getting it back into your system? I got unsubbed from you and didn't know until recently. Oh, really? That's weird. Did you resubscribe? That'd be cool. I'd appreciate it. Martins. Uh, Ryan says he's so disappointed in the red cart. It's not my favorite. I actually think like the OM5E and the OM10 are better carts than the red. They're cheaper. My Sony SSCS5 has got sucked into the port on my Sherwin Vegas. Woo. Hi, Diz XO. That's the first time I think I ever heard anyone say, stop giving me money, LOL. Well, ABX audio file is so generous and he's always given me money on super chats and stuff and it's your money, man. And I, I'll take it. But, uh, sometimes, you know, it's interesting. I had someone tell me one time, cause I, I told somebody that they were giving me too much money and he's like, you know, that's none of your business. If they want to give you money, let them give you money and you shouldn't say anything. So my apologies, you know what? ABX open up that checkbook, send it over. Um, Martin says OM five and OM 10 are better values than the red. Yeah. I, th I like that. I think they legit sound better than the red. Uh, I run my headphones set up through EcoFlow battery. Uh, what's my headphone amp? I have a few going. I have the Gishelli labs, Oracle 2.5, I have the Schitt Lear. I also have the X Duo TA twenty six S, and I think that's all that I have hooked up right now. What do I think about the Savage A thirty? Many question marks. It's pretty good. I think I've I think I've had that one. Two M Blue is better than both. Yeah, it should be. It's two hundred dollars. Uh, what about the OM twenty? I haven't heard the OM twenty. I have not. Mm -hmm. You like Unified 2.0 bookshelf or SVS Prime would be using the Fluence RT85N and an NAD integrated amp. Anyone's opinion is appreciated. Thank you. Which NAD um, integrated amp? Because the NADs, especially the Class Ds, have a little bit of a... Hello, I'm here on top. I'm a little bit thin in the bottom end. Um, I th 
the 2.0s are very um flat the svs primes are a little bit of uh of a they're funner more fun speaker the prime bookshelves um so yeah and the unifies need a bit more juice too a little bit more juice all right i'm gonna have to oh nad 316b v2 i'd go with the svs with that one um that's what i would do uh two in blue two hundred dollars what kind of personal tech are you allowed on a submarine oh um well back then it was it was uh portable cd players so we could have portable cd players I've, you know and some guys had portable um you know old school cassettes players too that's it i had a palm pilot as well but i used that for work so i i put like data into it and then um i had some spreadsheets and stuff on there but yeah cd player and a palm pilot and uh leatherman um I use, oh and a flashlight actually this flashlight is from the time i spent on the sub this is this this is the uh, flashlight I used on the boat. Faux show. Yep. I wouldn't consider flashlight tech or Leatherman tech. And this is not I do not have the original Leatherman that I had on the boat. Uh, so yeah. All right. Did I miss any super chats? Getting too much money from the fans. Talk about a luxury problem. I I just don't want anybody to give more than they're comfortable giving, which I guess is up to them and not me. Have a great weekend, Randy. Thanks for what you do to your community. Bring an audio file to everyone. Cheers. Thank you, ABX Audio File. I hope you have a great weekend. Happy Easter, if that's if you uh, if that's your thing. Happy Easter. G'day from Phoenix. Good day. My Leatherman Skeletal is definitely high tech. This one is not the skeleton one. I think this one is like, this one's a very popular one. Wingman. That's what this one is. It's pretty good. Um, I use it all the time. It's pretty good. Happy Easter. Uh, when you're on subs, do you ever get to Banger? Yeah, I was uh, stationed at a Banger. I lived on the Banger submarine base. I lived there in listed housing. It's beautiful. I mean, that that Navy housing was gorgeous. There was deer would come in there. I mean, that base is kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful base. But yes, I absolutely made it to Banger. Uh, thanks for all your hard work. Cliff Collins, thank you. For the ten dollars, you're very, 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 very nice. Gerber is greater than Leatherman. I've got a Gerber too laying around. The only thing I don't like about Gerber is on this one, I can get the knife out without having to go into it. And my Gerber, I have to do the and then get the knife out. I think the Gerber is better if you're going to use the pliers more. The Leatherman's better if you're going to use the knife more. Um, so that's how I respond to that one. They're both good. They're both good. I like them, and I use them both. I've been using the the uh, Leatherman a lot more, though, because I've been using the knife a lot more. But really, I I just carry a pocket knife, and... I don't use the Leatherman as much. So that's what I, um, what I don't like to do is I don't like to carry a pocket knife and a Leatherman. Um, cause then my pockets get too, too full. But yeah. Anyway, I remember having a portable CD player on the aircraft carrier. I was on in 88, 89, I would put the, so we had, um, 
a treadmill that was like on rubber things because we had to be quiet on the sub. And I would put the CD player in the overhead. I'd be, and then I'd hit like my headphone thing, and then the whole thing would come crashing down. They didn't love it. Sixty dollars for MP one ten stylus, one fifty for one fifty, one eighty for two hundred. We're talking about uh, funnel carts. Is Texas and some Midwest ready to form our own country yet? We can do better than Portland situation. Well, I don't like to talk about politics in here. I think, I think we all love audio. Um, so no politics in here. Um, that is the stance that I take. I don't want to alienate anybody because of like, I don't care what people think personally. I know what I think and that's private to me. When I go vote, nobody, nobody needs to know what I'm voting about. Um, but there's no way I'm going to alienate half the people out there because of my political stances. Um, and guess what? You know what? Like, Life is pretty good, regardless. I have been through so many different presidents. And my stance is if I work hard and I do the right thing, my life is pretty good, regardless of who's in office. So anyway, no politics. Uh, Ever considered sharing a playlist that you use to test speakers? Yeah, it's in every, every, um, the description of every video. I have cheap audio man test track playlists. I have satanic panic. I have leg warmers. I need to start some other ones, but yeah, I have uh, those playlists in there in the description. Everyone, any more toys collected over 67 years? I'm not 67. I'm 47. Nah, you're good. It was just a thought as I drive through Texas. Um, so yeah, I've got the playlist. Purchase the Wing Pro remote. I found it to be kind of <laughs> useless. If you could change outputs, uh, they'd have something. It also doesn't stay paired. Thanks as always, Randy. Steve Zeidman bought uh, one of the remotes. I don't care. I mean, to me, I've got the remote. It's right here. Um, so, and I don't control volume with it. So, if I want to mute it or whatever, I, I just do that. Um, so. But I know some people like love remotes. Well said, work hard, do the right thing. Um, there you go. ABX on AFO. I'm 67. You're awesome. It's what you are. What a good bargain. A CD player. Uh, we're probably going to pee off people on our next live. Uh, huge Nagaoka fanboy here. Look what I have. I probably need to get a new one of these. Because I have, I have actually had to bend the, my camera is doing a terrible job. I must have changed some focus setting because my camera is doing a terrible job of focusing on things now. I know it's always what I do. I change some stupid setting and then it doesn't work. Anyway, this is a Nagaoka. It definitely should be able to focus on this but it's not it makes me so mad stupid and this camera stuff is not cheap either say look at this i'm not even in focus now what the heck yo mm -hmm. <laughs> stupid thing you know how much money i spend on this crap all right nagaoka um i'm a fanboy but i've had to bend the stylus because it got like torqued so chances are this thing is not in pristine shape i should get a new one yo yo first live stream i've been told i've been to oh my a90d just died saw your video but there would be, uh but where would you go from here or should i just get it after repairs a90d it's a um, topping, right? Topping A90. I've heard more issues with topping products, I think, than any other company, which is sad because I've heard that they make 
good, 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 good products. What is the A90D? Let's find out. A90D. Yeah, popping A90. Oh, discrete headphone amp. Um, I'd go with the Schitt Lear or the Gishelli Labs Arkel 2.5 or uh, another Schitt. Um, I would be one and done with topping when it comes to headphone amps. Because uh, here's the real litmus test. It's probably still under warranty. Check and see how they treat you for a warranty claim. And then see. Uh, I have heard that not... I've heard they can be real challenging to work with for warranty claims. Good thing the style I only cost about 60 bucks. Yeah. I need to get a new one. Are the ELAC 2.0 UB62 worth getting over the debut? Are the Unify 2.0? Are you talking about the reference? Unify reference are like $1,200. And the debut 2.0 B5.2 is like $200. So there's a big price differential there. And they both sound different. Depends on what your budget is. The Unify uh, needs some more, need more power too power all right it is 11 o'clock thank you so much uh for hanging out with me on this friday i hope that you have a fantastic easter weekend if you're a christian or if you celebrate that if you're celebrating passover i hope you have a great passover weekend just have fun with your family be kind to each other and uh I have a blast. I think I'm going to go take my kids to uh, the Super Mario <clears throat> Mario movie. Anyway, love you all. Have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.